Sorry, you welcome back. Bye, on the road. Is thing all right? Yeah, it is. Uh, well, it's official. Summer has set in. <laughs> Why do you say summer, not spring? Well, last episode it was raining and it was cold as fudge, which means it was basically winter. And now it's like warm outside. We've been given temperatures to up to 22 degrees for the upcoming week, so, you know, looks like we just completely skipped spring and immediately went to summer, so, hey. Anyway, um, let's talk about the crummy things about summer. First of all, it's usually too hot for me. Seriously, heat is something I'm really bad at. Like 20 degrees is more than enough for me, alright? So weather like this, perfect. Doesn't need to be warmer or anything. Other than that, it's fine. Another thing this hateful long summer, bugs everywhere. Inside your house, outside your house, everywhere. Mosquito bites up the wazoo. At least I got a carnivorous plant which may or may not help combat that a bit indoors, even though I'm probably gonna put it outdoors because they can actually get something to eat. Because I'm not allowed to put fertilizer on because then may die. No joke. Another crummy thing about summer, it's too bright, too early. Right? It's like 6, 7 a.m. and the sun's already out. Personally, I'd rather take my time waking up and be greeted by the sun in your eyes. Generally, it doesn't make an easy wake up. That's just me, right? Um, what else? What else is crummy about summer? Uh, I think that's most of it. Well, it's probably going to be the entire street being blocked off on our rent for kids to play. I'll only never do it because what's the point in playing a street? can't get run over by a car. Which also means traffic gets routed a bit, meaning more traffic in our own streets. But hey, don't get me wrong, not everything about summer is crap, right? Talk about the good things of summer, namely my car doesn't hate it as much as winter. It'll start as beautiful as I wanted to. No need to scratch ice off if anything. Uh, next thing about summer that is great. It stays clear longer. It means uh, you, know, you can stay out longer without having the issue of not being able to see each other. Another thing is it stays warmer for longer as well, which means you can sit out in the yard having a drink, talking about things going on in the world, playing some poker and whatnot. Just a whole lot more social stuff. You can do that stuff inside, but you know, it's just like, yep, here we sit. It's too boring to be inside, so we're going outside for that. That makes it all just a little bit more fun to do. Thing is barbecues. The warmth outside means you can actually sit outside, eat outside. Sure, the sponge gets spoiled a little bit by the bugs, wasps, and flies are drawn to a barbecue like you wouldn't believe it. So maybe you would believe it. Maybe it's not just a thing here. It probably isn't, but it's a thing. I don't know, summer has its good sides, has it up, 
downside. Same with winter. Good side, bad side. And the two seasons in the middle are just meh. Spring and fall. It's rain. Messy. Not warm enough to go outside. So, you know. Still got some bugs around as well if you do plan on going outside. So. You know. You say spring and fall are beautiful and they may be right. Especially over at our side where in spring you got these big ass trees which get those pink leaves and all of that. But that falls on the floor and it gets messy and blah blah blah. Same with fall. So you know. I'm pretty sure that if there would be a grand questionnaire of what people's favorite season is. Fall is probably going to be dangling at the bottom of that list. I don't know how about, I don't know by how much. But, you know, don't get the good weather you get in summer and winter. Personally, I'm a big fan of frost, so. Kills all the bugs and snow is nice to have around if you want to go muck around with your car if you want to. And you got spring, you know, start of a new year, trees starting to get their leaves back, blah 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 blah. Fall is just like, well, that's it. We're done. The end of summer. School already started up, and, you know, things are dying all around you, so, I don't know, feel free to prove me wrong, because, you know, this is why I'm going on these rants, so, first of all, you can hear the wild theories going on in my head, but second of all, you guys being able to comments on set rants and what's going on over here I'm just stopping to let somebody cross um but yeah weather is uh, super as you can tell a lot more people driving their bikes around you know, it's starting to become good weather. Yes, 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 yes. Are you parked on the street or yeah, you are? Fine. Hunky dory. Um, yeah. A lot more cyclists, which I suppose is one other bad thing about summer. Cyclists, I don't mean the occasional old couple or parent with kids. I mean the groups of cyclists taking up the entire road because they think they're allowed to do that. I'm surprised there aren't any more accidents that happen with those dudes. I mean, it's like the moment there are like three or four of them, they drive on the road. Have a perfectly good bike lane? Nah. Let's just drive on the road and piss people in cars off. There actually have been accidents or incidents. A guy that was so fed up about them that actually did manage to nick one, then got out of his car and beat up four or five others. Cops had to come in and take him away. Managed to fend off two cops as well for a while. 
And then things went bad. Anyway. More power to you. I mean, law does dictate the moment you're actually in a group of, I don't know, exactly know how many, like, you need to be with at least 20, I believe? I don't know. Then you can have a guy with you with, like, a rubber dildo thing that you can use to halt traffic. Then you're allowed to drive on the road and whatnot. But if there's only two or three of you, stay the fuck on the bike lane, all right? I actually had some great fun with that um, a while back, actually. Uh, people who... It wasn't me, actually, but someone told me that, and I thought, yeah, damn straight. So, someone I know drive, used to drive this pretty banged-up old car. Kind of running on its last legs and everything like that. And, um... Again, she was being hauled down by a bunch of cyclists. Eventually, she did manage to get past them, and that's when the engine got revved up a lot. So this big black plume of smoke just came out of the back end of the car up to a point where even James Bond would have been jealous of it. And yeah, I'm pretty sure most of those cyclists had to go and take a bath afterwards. It's like, yeah! Suck it. I wasn't there, but I believe the person. Because I want it to be true. <sighs> but, you know. I don't mind cyclists, I really do. Don't mind, but know your place on the road, alright? You're not making friends by blocking the entire road because you just think you own the road, alright? The problem is you really can't run them over either. First of all, it would damage your car, which you probably miss. But, you know, they're a, uh, a bicycle there. I don't know the exact translation of the word, but like, they're delicate. So, I do wonder if that would change if you have a douche cam. Like, if you could actually prove that they were driving where they weren't supposed to be driving. Now, the problem with that is, sure, they're driving where they're not allowed to, but you're still kind of rear-ending them, so you don't really have an excuse for hitting them. Because you could clearly see them coming. So I'm pretty sure that option is out of the question as well. So anyway. That probably concludes rant number three or four, I believe, about cyclists and cars. Which is just about in time for me to end the episode, I would say, because I have reached my destination. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Feel free to use your support. Feel free to use your support. Sure, why not? Feel free to show your support by commenting, liking, at, or subbing the already. Feel free to use the comments below to talk about stuff. Comment on anything I may have said that you feel like I'm wrong or right about. Give your own opinion. Why wouldn't you? And I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.